In this video, you'll learn exactly how to build a feature that can detect and display when users are active within your Bubble app. Now, a feature like this is perfect for any chat applications you create, so that way users can see if their friends that they're speaking to are currently active or not. Now, thankfully, this one is a relatively straightforward process. So I'm gonna hand this over to Luca, and he's gonna walk through everything you need to know. Hello guys, Luke here, and today we're going to be going over how to add in this little activity shape into our bubble application here. So when someone or me coming onto this chat over here, when I press that and I'm on the chat, you can see that then it says that I'm active on the chat. Now this is really useful for many different things. Inside of bubble applications, you could have a big list of friends, for example, and you can edit that, to say which friends are online or offline. And yeah, as I say, this is a very customizable and malleable feature you can build within your bubble application. So let's jump into our bubble editor now. So the first thing we're going to build out is going to be our little activity circle. I'm not actually going to go into the details of how you build out a chat functionality as we've already covered this in previous videos so the link will be somewhere around here but um the first thing we're going to want to do is actually use the shape visual element over here so if we grab that and drag it into our group beside your profile picture for your user within the message what you're going to want to do is go to the layout and we're just going to make this 10 by 10 pixels on the width and the height. Lovely, I'm going to center that in the center of our group so it lines up nicely beside our profile picture. Now if we go onto the appearance tab of our shape and we detach the style, we can set our roundness to 20 and actually get us a nice round circle. And so we actually aren't going to mess around with the layout tab and collapsing it when hidden because we're always going to have it hidden we're actually just going to have it change color like we did in the demo so the next thing we are going to have to do is go into our database so if you go into the data tab what you're going to do is go to your user now this is an application i've built before so i've got lots of different data types and fields um, however you will just need to add one field which is the last active date and this is actually going to be a date field so we'll click create and what we're actually going to have this do is if you go now into your workflows tab when a user is on this page we're going to have our last active date to be updated every one second so what you're going to want to do is add a new event and under general here you can see we've got do every five seconds so we're going to click that now and you can actually change this to whatever interval of seconds you'd like so we're just going to do one so what we're going to do every one second is actually update the current user and we're going to update the last activity date that we've just created so if we do make changes to the current user and then we search for the last active date and then we're going to set the last active date to the current date and time perfect so now the only thing we're going to have to do is go back to our design tab and set a condition for this shape over here click on that and the condition is that when the current date and time is less than that last active date and time you might be asking how can it be less than if they're both the current date and time and that's how we're actually going to add a plus seconds but the plus seconds is just a formula for a calculation four seconds so we're actually gonna minus two seconds from the current date and time and so when the current date and time is less than the parent group's message so the group over here has a message and the message 
has a creator, which is going to be the person that we want to display being active within the chat. And so when we go into that, we've got the creator and then we can find the last active date. And so as they're both of the times are updating as time moves on, our current date and time is slightly behind the last active date and time like this. So that when the, the current user is on the chat, it will be less the current date and time minus two seconds will be less than that last active date but then when the user comes off of the messages page the last active date stops and then that condition becomes untrue and then it switches over to our primary color here so the condition we're going to set for this condition is going to be the background color of the shape and we're going to put that as your applications um, color so perfect so if we run our application again now let's just check this is operating correctly and i'm going to my app data so now i'm going to run as our user in the chat page so i can then click on to our chat that we've got here and then if we click into our messages of this chat you can see that i'm not actually within this chat in my account over here but if i click that you can see that within a second or two it says that i am online so that's how you add an activity shape or button onto your bubble application to allow users to be able to see who is active and who is not. And just like that, you now have a feature that allows you to detect when users are active within your application. If you like this video and you wanted to stay up to date with any additional tutorials I share, I'd recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new tutorial. In the meantime though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I wish you all the best on your own no-code journey.